Hey friends, so I've had these little guys two days now. These are the um, Solomon Island ground boas. And I got two that are siblings at Repticon in Atlanta Saturday. And they're about the size of a skinny number two pencil. And that one was still hiding in the um, little container they came in, sitting down inside their little 10 gallon habitat, uh, which is lots of room for them right now. Um, that is a bowl of water half full because they are semi-aquatic and they do eat little frogs, little lizards, that kind of stuff when they're neonates like these guys are and we can't really see what that one's doing I don't want to scare it if you look in the reflection over there it's smelling it keeps flickering its tongue at something and that little something sorry I don't want to go over there and scare it that little something is a uh, pinky a little pinky mouse and I put two in here last night in fact I put it in their little plastic habitat with their sphagnum moss and of course they thawed overnight but they don't smell they haven't spoiled at all and that one i was uh, encouraging it well, actually made it get out of the little habitat the other one i couldn't find immediately so i spilled a little water there got to change that paper towel and they won't live on paper towels this is just while they're young i just took out another paper towel where someone had pooped so you always like to see that and the poop looked good but while I had things out, look what I found. Yeah, and this little, little vine I also got at Repticon. So this guy may be the more adventurous of the two. He did have his head out in the light, but then he got spooked, so I didn't want to prod him, poke and prod him to make him come back out. If he's scared, he's scared. But, uh, couple things I notice about them. I love the shapes of their head. That's what really attracted me to them. And you can see his little eyes. They're mounted forward rather than on the sides, which is super cool. And they both have a unibrow. That's not uncommon. And these patterns change many, many times as they become uh, juveniles and young adults and adults and they'll be eventually be um, beautiful snakes uh, two to four feet depending on the sex of each of course they're way too small for me to try to sex um, but they will be light red dark red orange sorry about that he needs attention. He's messing with one of the cats. But yeah, I just wanted to give a little update on them because they weren't doing anything at all and they really aren't right now either. But let's see if we can, we can see its little eye, kind of where it's marking on the side of its head. Peaks, peaks, P E A K S, in the middle. Its little eyes right above that. And they give you a little bit of a, kind of a hog nose look. Kind of. If I had something to brace this with. But anyway, that's the other one. And this one has gone down looking for that pinky. And I'm just thinking if I put the other pinky on the vine, I pull, held the vine up enough so it'll stay up now. Uh, I may put this other pinky. I've got them, got the other one right here. Nope, you see, you can't have a pinky. Just a tiny dead mouse. No fur on it, nothing to freak about, of course. And I'm just gonna put it right there. It looked right at that. I hate my freaking tongues. I don't know if I just got so I can't hold anything with them. I mean, they seem to work fine, but look at him, look at him. That looks awful big for him. 
So if I don't have success with these little pinkies, they can stretch their mouths pretty good, just like a ball. Well, I couldn't get the mouse loose, and now I hit him, so that scared him. As I say, I hate these tongs. I hate them. Now he's got his little head sticking out the other side. Start calling this the comedy of boys. Anyway, I'm going to leave him alone. Let's see if we can see him better since I scared him. He's under the leaf. I don't know where he went. They're fast. There he is. There's the other one. There he is. Some pretty cool markings, but again, these are temporary. The adults have all kinds of speckles and patterns on their bellies. They're high gloss. I mean, just beautiful snakes. And they are quite expensive snakes, too, when they're adults. But yeah, I just think they're cute as they can be. This eye looks so small because it's oriented forward, not laterally. So, I'm going to leave him alone. He looks so big. That plant is... Just a little tiny bitty plant. So, kind of have markings that look like slugs. Kind of. And I'm just really curious what's going on over here. What? Did he eat that pinky? No, it's still, still laying there. And he's smelling all around it. So see, I definitely don't want to scare him, which is what I'm about to do. That's what he's focused on. So that's awesome. Uh, uh, several trusted sources that I read said that about 50% of them will take pinkies and 50% won't, obviously. And they said if you can get them on them, try. I had to try for a bit. But if not, the reason the bowl's in there is that water is uh, clean water with no um, chemicals in it. And it's going to have uh, some little Immler babies or something in there since they're semi-aquatic and see if that works. But eventually they'll be transi transitioned over to exclusively mice and rats and so forth. Alright, very long video. Probably very boring for most people. But I'm having fun with these guys and just wanted to get them on a video. So thanks for watching. Hey there. Yeah, he's looking over here. You guys are just too cute. Sorry for the shaking, but that's, you know, best I got. Thanks, guys.